Hey YouTube, Minnesota Eric. And so this is my aluminum utility trailer and hands down the most lent out trailer I own. I, uh, I kind of live a philosophy that you're happiest when you share your blessings with others as long as you're not being treated like a welcome mat. And I have no problem sharing stuff with my friends and family and whatnot. So uh, when they ask, so this thing takes off frequently from here. But one of the problems with these trailers when they just have a four pin connector You see that? The pins have broken off. So right now all this thing's got running lights. It doesn't have brake lights and it doesn't have turn signal lights. And really the only thing that's wrong with it is these pins have broken off. Well, let me show you why and how this happens on my own pickup truck. How this happens is when people are putting in the connector into the, in the dealio, they're just pushing it in enough. And you see how that kind of bends there? That's what slowly weakens these pins. And what really has to happen, the thing has to get put in there all the way. So that's how the pins break. But so today we're going to just uh, replace this connector and be done with it. And it'll be ready to get lent out to another zillion friends and family members. Now it's important to remember here before you begin that on a four pin trailer harness, white is your ground for the trailer. Brown runs all of your running lights. Yellow is just your left turn and, and uh, brake light, left brake light. And green is your right hand turn signal and brake light, okay? Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you got a good quality replacement uh, plug-in. I got this off of Amazon, you can get them anywhere. Uh, they are not all created equally. Uh, I think the Harbor Freight ones are pretty cheesy in comparison, so yeah. This, un this cord, unfortunately, I can't pull out or shove in very well, and so this is going to keep happening again and again. And just from experience, I want to make this cord just a little longer. Maybe there. So I want to leave myself room to replace it one more time down the road. You can see the OEM, the OEM uh, plug on this bare trailer is actually it's kind of nicer than the one I bought, but it is what it is. So that's where, oh look, I got extra cable. I'm going to do a lineman style. It's just a little, little neater, tougher way of tying the wires together. I'll show you what I mean when I strip the wires. It's, so stripping about an inch of wire. This is also a common form of way of doing wires in, in uh, aviation. Now this alignment st style was designed for holding uh, wires that were going to be under tension. So I gave you a little closer angle now. So all right, what you do is you come in here and you make an L, make a U-turn. Tighten this guy up a little bit. Make a, make a U-turn. You come in, you hit these things, and then you just twist them together. And this is, the again, the lineman's style of doing this. It makes a, a nice, tight way of doing it. Now I'm going to come back and solder all these joints. So. I bought this Weller when I was 19 years old. Can you believe that? That's that. I gotta get us out of some electrical tape. Go ahead. 
ahead and wrap this up. I want to cover each joint twice with a wrap, if you know what I mean. So there's once, and we come back at it. It's twice. And I'm not worried about the tape being structured because trust me, this is these are tough joints. So now we're good. See what I did there? Stuff tucked one in the other one. Now I need to hit this with a heat gun, shrink wrap it all up. This should be uh, good to go now. So it's a little longer than it was, and uh, it'll plug right in and work great. Anyway, YouTube, that's all I got to share with you today. And if you like this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, then subscribe. Until we meet again, bye-bye.